not being here this evening. My second child was born at the beginning of this campaign, and the feeding patterns of a newborn baby means that it isn't possible to be away from him at night. With such a supporting family and network of friends and colleagues, I'm very pleased that with their help, I've been able to be out on the campaign trail over these last few weeks, despite the difficult circumstances of having a new baby in an election campaign. In addition, the support from constituents and activists have been overwhelming, and I'd like to thank them all. Their hard work and dedication have been overwhelming. I'd also like to thank the returning officer, polling station staff, and the camp staff here tonight. Without you, the election simply wouldn't run, and I'm grateful for all of your work. I also want to give a very special thank you to my election agent, John Cashew, who's been un invaluable in helping me manage this campaign, and to my team, particularly George Oates, and our local party's campaign coordinators, and to all those who got stuck in door knocking, leafleting, and getting our message out. But most of all, I extend my thanks to everyone who put their confidence in me and voted Labour. It's a privilege and an honour to be re-elected to serve my home constituency. I was born here, grew up here, and I'm proud to be raising my own family here. I am firmly rooted in our community and passionate about giving our local area a strong voice in Parliament. However, our area has suffered under nearly a decade of austerity inflicted on us by the Tories. Our schools are struggling to make ends meet, our NHS has been severely under-resourced and we are experiencing a housing crisis. What's more, the introduction of universal credit has pushed many families into unnecessary poverty. Whilst I'm delighted to have won here, the picture nationally is looking uncertain, and I hope that tonight would be a turning point so that we could begin righting these wrongs. Unfortunately, that may not be the case, but my commitment to the electorate is that I will continue to fight for these cuts and do all I can to ensure our public services are fully restored and that no one in our community is left behind. I will also continue to fight against Brexit, to campaign for a second referendum, and for Remain. Once again, thank you to everyone who has put their confidence in me, and I will continue to work for our community and in Parliament to build a fairer, more equal society that works for all.